This video is sponsored by Circular Software. What I'm going to do now is draw this sort of repeating line here with the pen tool. So I need to start at this point here, click and drag to begin, like so. So something maybe like that. I'm going to go for about there for the minute. Then over to this side here, click and drag down a similar amount. I wasn't too far out on the first one. Okay, but I'll stick with it. I'll go to the extra bit of line and then hold down the Alt or Option key, swing that handle around like so. By the way, if you're thinking, wow, this is complex, there is an easier way to do it. And I promise there actually is. Okay, so what I'm going to do then is come along, drag it down the same distance, then Alt or Option key, swing that round and then one final time, click and drag down here. Okay, like so to create that. So loads of clicking and dragging, holding down keys and all of that stuff to achieve that. Wow, super effort intensive, I think. So have you tried the curvature pen tool? Let's have a quick look at that. So if we hold down the shift key and hit back tick, or if I do that, because I don't know if you're on an English keyboard here, but this is where it lives in the two up array OK, you'll find it to the right. And this is of the advanced toolbox. Don't worry about all the extra tools I've got here. The advanced toolbox uh, contains all of your tools here. So that's the one we're after. Now, this one is very, very different. OK, so all I need to do here is click at the beginning of the curve. Go to the maxima, if you like, the top of the curve and click just there. Now, you might think, haha, Tony's got it wrong. It's a straight line. Well, I promise you I haven't. And I go down to the bottom here and double click this time. Now, the only reason I've double clicked here is because I want to go off in a new direction. So click, double click, click, double click. With this one, if you want to move a point, you don't need to swap to a different tool. You just go ahead and grab that point. So if you've made a mistake, you don't have to reach for the uh, space bar. You can just go ahead and do that. And here's how easy it is to draw a circle with that. So I'm going to just choose like a grid of uh, four squares here. OK, so four by four. I'm going to go to the middle of that one. Click at the top. So down diagonally two. Click down diagonally two. Click up diagonally two. Click and up diagonally two to the top. Click. Boom. There we go. Circle up effect. And if you want to switch between corners, OK, and curves, just double click on any of those points and they will switch away like so. So if I've still got that active or they should be doing that right now, that's very curious as it does appear to be not wanting to blow me at the moment. Let's just try that over here. So I'm just going to double click my way around these diamonds and then go back to one of these and double click on it. There we go. Behaving properly now. Uh, this might have been what we call a picnic at our place. And that means problem in chair, not in computer. OK, so that's how we can work with those drawing or more technically plotting tools to work. Right? And I think the curvature pen tool, uh, even if you're a diehard pen tool fan that's going like, yeah, but I need my anchors and I need my control handles. They're still there. It's just making it easier for you to draw. You can go ahead and add points at any point. OK, all of those. And if you want your handles, just tap A to get to the direct selection tool. Click on any of the points and they're all there. But this tool just makes the whole thing so much more accessible for you. And I now realize the wisdom of creating red lines, OK, on something that is essentially going to have uh, big red lines on it. There we go. Apologies.